अक्टूबर नवंबर 2014 पेपर टू वेरिएंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द स्केलर्स एंड वेक्टर्स मेनली वेक्टर्स दैट एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इज सस्पेंडेड विद थ्री फोर्सेस एक्स वाई एंड जेड एंड द वाई इज हैविंग एन एंगल थीटा विद द हॉरिजेंटल the first part is very simple that you have to mention the vector quantities the like uh, displacement velocity acceleration momentum etc etc right so make sure that you you may not mention any scalar one there so the question is they have given a graph with the of y and x and they kept z as a constant 17 newton so they are changing the values of x from 0 to 120 in the graph and in the question they have mentioned 160 newton as well so we need to check what will be the result from 0 to 120 of this graph so first of all they they were ask that using the figure this graph estimate the magnitude of y for x and 0 obviously this practical is having uh, a touch of uh, practical so we need to extend this line uh, till 0 of x right and we have seen that this line is almost after 20 it's actually like almost parallel to the horizontal axis so near about 72 uh, this uh, first this cells are having two divisions oh, uh, let me yes this one division is equals to almost equals to 2 newton so this will be uh, in between 70 to uh, 72 so more or less it's 71 newton right so we will mention over here 70.5 or 71 newton state and explain the value of theta for x is equal to 0 imagine that uh, when x having no forces and any uh, zero and uh, we have we must have uh, the horizontal component zero in order to make or the horizontal component in equilibrium so the the this is possible only when that the theta is 90 degree to the uh, horizontal so uh, cos 90 is equal to 0 that will make this will make uh, x z uh, x 0 so y cos theta will also be 0 when angle is 90 degree in order to make equilibrium now this part is actually the uh, all of the above are actually unusual part of this uh, vectors so now here is the practice one the magnitude of x is increased to 160 newton so that means x is now 160 use this resolution of forces to calculate the value of angle theta so they don't want they don't want to use this graph anymore so they have mentioned uh, the resolution of forces so uh, for angle theta now we have so two equation like here that y sin theta is equals to z and horizontally x is equals to y cos theta so y sin theta is equal to 70 and y cos theta is 160 as it given over here right now so after dividing these two equation means y sin theta over y cos theta is equal to 70 over 160 we will get tan theta is equals 0.43 so tan inverse will be almost 23.62 degree which is uh, which is round off to 24 degree now the next is the magnitude so we have two ways to calculate this either take any equation from 1 and 2 right 
y equals 70 over sin theta and after resol resolving uh, we will get y and the another one is considering the two vectors vertical is 70 and horizontal is 160 so hypotenuse will be hypotenuse will be from the Pythagoras theorem h square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square we will get 171 newton from there as well the angle theta decreases x x increases the angle theta decreases as x increases explain why the object cannot be in equilibrium for theta is equals to zero when there is no angle so that means this y is on the horizontal axis so there will be no force which is balancing this z 70 newton on upward so there will be no force there will be no force on upward direction to balance force of z that is 70 newton so here is the complete solution of question number three